Hi, I'm Marco Antonio Rodriguez, writer and director of La Luz del Cigarrillo, Una Historia Dominican York. In English, that's The Light of a Cigarette, a Dominican York story. One of the first plays written by a Dominican in Spanish performed at La Tea Theater. Previews start April 28th through May 1st, and the official opening is May 4th, and it runs until June 5th, Wednesday through Saturdays at 8th, and Sundays at 4th. Today I have Susana Guzman with me here. Hola. And Susana Guzman is playing the main character, which is Luz. Tell us a little bit about the character, Susana. Luz is a mother born in Santo Domingo, and she lives here now. Y el hijo de ella se fue a la universidad hace como cinco años y nos hemos apartado. Y en estas dos noches que, que se hace la obra, nos estamos juntando, sí se están descubriendo muchas cosas, abriendo corazones y hablando de, bueno, la vida. Aquí en Nueva York, como americana, yo soy una madre soltera, creé a mi hijo sola y ahora me estoy sintiendo sola. <ríe> y ahí comienza la obra. <ríe> So for those folks, uh, I'm assuming this is bilingual, um, for those folks who are, it's a universal story. So it's, yes, it's called Dominican York, Manuel Cigarrillo, Dominican York story, but it's really about the relationship between a mother and a child and the conflicts that they have and the things that they fight about, which they think they're so different from each other, but they're really not. Very much alike. They're very much and alike. Every single mother uh, from Latin America knows of the feeling of having to struggle here alone. And it's a lot of that, and it's a lot about the child having all that responsibility of being the child that she came to this country for, really, to give her a better life. Y es bien entretenida. Humorous, dramatic, everything. It's, it's a full night of emotions. And laughter. <laughs> It's very rare that you see sort of the Dominican vernacular, sort of all pa pa ya, really organic attack on something um, on stage, particularly in New York. So this is one of the few times written by Dominicans. This is one of the few times and starring Dominicans. Okay? And, by the way, it is in Spanish, performed in Spanish with English supertitles, which means that while you're watching the play, if you don't know any Spanish, you can look up, and right above you is something called supertitles, which in your version it would be subtitles. <laughs> and while the play goes along, the supertitles are going by. So please come join us. Please, I guarantee you an entertaining if you want, If you want tickets, go to 212-529-1948. That's 212-529-1948 or visit smarttix.com. That's S-M-A-R-T-T-I-X dot com. We're running for five weeks. Yeah. Uh, Wednesdays through Sunday. Sundays, the performances are at four in the afternoon and uh, Wednesday through Saturdays at 8 p.m. And the tickets are going fast, so get yours. Ciao. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, my name is Ismael Cruz Cordova. I am playing Julio Cesar in the play La Luz del Cigarrillo, which will be up at La Andea on May 4th. Uh, my character is a son who has not been home for several years, and the play just develops on that two nights between him and his mom, and just exploring the bond between them. No more information, porque necesitamos que vayan a ver la obra. Pero sí, la obra está escrita por Marco Antonio Rodríguez, es una de las primeras obras que están escritas en Broadway por un autor dominicano, con un elenco dominicano y con una voz auténtica dominica en York. Así que vengan a verla, estamos en la TEA desde mayo 4 hasta junio 5. Chao. Hi, I'm Marco Antonio Rodríguez and uh, I am the writer and director of Presented by Teatro La Tea. In English, it's The Light of a Cigarette, a Dominican York story. It's on Suffolk, on the Lansing and Essex Street, off the F, J, M, and Z train. And it is a drama comedy, so basically a dramedy about a mother who comes from NC Bao in the Dominican Republic over to New York City. And she and her son, who is raised here, clash because they have secrets that they're keeping from each other. These real secrets. And so he comes back after five years of being away because his father dies. It's the only reason he comes back. And when he comes back, things again that begin to clash. Secrets are revealed. A lot of stuff happens. Come check it out.
It's one of the first times that you'll see a Dominican play in English, in Spanish, performed in Spanish with English supertitles written by Dominican in a New York Manhattan stage. If you want tickets, call 212-529-1948. 212-529-1948. Or visit smarttix.com. Which part? The whole thing? No, no, no. So if you want tickets, go ahead and call 212-529-1948. 212-529-1948. They're dirt cheap. Or visit smarttix.com. That's S-M-A-R-T-T-I-X.com. Come see La Luz Un Cicadillo Una Historia Dominican York. por todas las personas que cuando yo le toque la puerta como cachapa y más el señor NAR, de Sano Health Food Center, de la Presidente y de otras compañías que no vamos a seguir mencionando porque ya ustedes lo van a ver en el programa, pero nosotros estamos muy contentos también de que mis amigos, a los que yo llamé de la prensa, hayan venido siempre, como siempre lo han hecho, a apoyarme en todo lo que tiene que ver con el arte. Aquí está el director que escribió esta, esta obra maravillosa, una locura preciosa y un trabajo fuerte que ustedes se lo van a ver cuando ya estemos nosotros en la tabla, de que ha sido un trabajo muy bonito, muy bien elaborado y donde nos tenía nosotros ahí todo el tiempo para que ustedes puedan disfrutar de algo que quede bien hecho. Eh, Susana es la, mi hermana en la obra, que la hace papel de luz. Ismael, que es mi sobrino querido, que, ha, que también está con nosotros, y Teresa Yenke, que está al fondo, que es una gran actriz eh, peruana, que está trabajando con nosotros, que ya nosotros la hemos cogido para nosotros, está todo el mundo en una casita, una tiendita. Así que mi papel es divina, que eh, ahora yo le voy a pasar los micrófonos, porque ya me dijo una periodista que yo no tengo que estar aquí, que yo soy una invitada, a una persona que si usted le corta la vena, le sale una pelota, un guante, porque de chiquito está hablando de pelota, pero que también de esto es un buen comunicador y él nos va a ayudar esta noche en esta presentación. Gracias. Además, dígame todo lo que estén para yo decir. MNN. MNN, que está aquí acabando también con nosotros. 